Wales and West Utilities is working on a multi-million pound 30-year essential gas mains replacement program across Wales and the southwest of England, where old metallic pipes within 30 metres of buildings are being replaced with highly durable, non-corroding plastic pipes with a lifespan of more than 80 years. This work is essential to bring improved safety and security of supply to homes and businesses across the region. Some of this work will soon be taking place near where you live. This film is intended to explain the process and answer your questions. Well, it all began when the letter came through the door a short while ago. The letter said that Wales and West Utilities would be working in my road to replace the gas mains later that month. Of course, I was a bit worried as my daughter and my grandchildren were meant to be visiting that day and I didn't want anything to interfere with that. I was also concerned about my disabled parking spot. I am classed as disabled after my hip operation and I was worried that they would dig up the road. Yes, I understand. So what happened next? Well, actually, Wales and West Utilities sent me another letter closer to the time saying that they were moving the date back by a week which they often do apparently, because replacing gas pipes can be quite a complicated business and unforeseen circumstances such as ground or weather conditions can cause some delays. But they gave me lots of notice and when the signs were going up in the street the day before, an engineer actually came round to confirm that my gas would be going off the next day. So the gas will probably be off for around five hours, but we'll keep you updated on progress and uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to come out and speak to any of us. Now, we can arrange some cooking equipment so that you're able to eat while the gas is off. We can uh, arrange some electric heaters too, so let me know if you need one of those. Oh, thank you very much. Hang on, you're not from Wales and West Utilities. You have a Morrison's logo on there. That's right, we're here on behalf of Wales and West Utilities. So the team that comes to carry out the work may be from AMEC, Morrison or another contractor. But they provided us with ID cards. So always ask for ID as the cards will confirm this. And our identification can be confirmed by calling the number on the back of this card. Right. Did you have any other questions, Mrs Davis? Well, I am a bit worried about my disabled parking space. Are they going to dig it up, do you think? Well, it's good that you've let us know about that. We'll try to make sure it's not dug up. But if we have to, we'll use cones to designate a temporary space nearby for you. Will that be OK? Oh, yes. That's lovely. Are they going to be digging up our gardens and driveways, do you think? Because Mr Smith, across the road, has just had his re tarmac you know. Well, hopefully we'll only need to dig in the road or the pavement to insert the new plastic pipe inside the old metallic service pipe. Sometimes we do need to dig driveways and gardens, though. So if that happens... We always aim to return the private property as closely as possible to its original condition. So what was it like when the work was taking place? Was it disruptive? Well, of course, I noticed everything that was going on, but they worked with a minimum of disruption. I was in all day and kept an eye on everything that went on, of course. Mind you, Mr Smith wasn't very pleased when they dug the hole up outside his driveway and failed to get his car out of the morning. But he spoke to the team outside and they put a plate over the hall and off he went to work. They did tell me that they can usually do that. The engineer had said I could go and ask him any questions, so I popped out and spoke to him a few times. Hello Mrs Davis, everything okay? Well, I'm a bit concerned about the Williams family at number 87. They've gone away on holidays, you know. Are you able to get into the house and turn everything back on? Well, I haven't had a good look, but if the meter's outside the house, we can turn the meter off and carry out the work. Uh, what we'll do then is we'll put a card through their door with our number on, so that when they get back, they can call to arrange uh, for a team to come around and switch the gas on and test the appliances within a few hours. I think it's on the inside. Well, in that case, we'll still be able to turn the uh, supplier from the main in the road, but we'll need to contact them to arrange access uh, so that we can relay the pipe leading into the house. We may even need to move the meter if it doesn't comply with gas regulations, but we can leave a card for them to arrange all of that as well. Part of the road was closed while the work was taking place, but they made sure we were able to walk in and out to the street. It wasn't any bother. It's a shame they couldn't wait until the summer to do the work when you wouldn't have to have the heating on. Well, I did mention that, 
but they said that people would be concerned even if they worked through the summer because people are on holidays then. What Wales and West Utilities told me that it's a 30 year programme and that they have to work all the year round to be able to complete the work, which is understandable really. Anyway, the engineer came back later that day to relight my gas and test my appliances. It works there for okay, you. Thanks. Okay, thanks. And then a few days later, another team came and collected all the signs in the road. They told me I should call if the signs weren't collected, but they were picked up, no problem. And everything is working beautifully. Do you fancy a cup of tea?